happy Wednesday. This is me, Nancy, and welcome back to a Glitz brand new light tutorial. Hope you all have a fabulous Wednesday. And I'm so excited to be back today with another tutorial. So yesterday we did is the um, gel extensions uh, with the tips and you can definitely create it those well that two set already sent off to my friends already so if you are really interested in to want to see how you can create it yourself uh really a set i want to do my set really soon and you can definitely check it out from our igtv i save all the videos on youtube facebook instagram tiktok Twitch absolutely free for you. So thanks so much for the love and support. I can't wait to go into the tutorial today. So we are going to playing with the fusionings. We're going to use Bogdos and uh, Neon Fusioning Thinking Green, which is I uh, using one is the classic and one neon. And then the next one I am going to do is again one classic and one neon, but this one we reverse it. We're gonna go into using a neon burning heart, and then we are going to using a thinking green. I thought that this one is the burning heart, no? Uh, but don't give you a deeper red. Okay, let me see. So um let's get started. And only you need even one color or two colors. And important, we are going to using a fusioning crystal clear. That's all you need for your crystal place, uh, for your fusioning uh, to create a marbling. So I did two coat of number 25, a glitch gel polish, peel white, and each layer I key for a 60 second. And I did apply the matte top coat and key for 60 second. So now you need it just simply, I need to get some paper. And let's get started. We are going to need just a piece of uh, paper towel here so then I can just wipe off my bristle during the time I create the marbles. So then that way it will not contaminate and is going back to the bottle. So we are going to start with the uh, these two colors is Burning Heart and Thinking Green. And let's do the uh, Burning Heart first. I have Mika right closer to me here. She's working, me working as well. But Mika is also one of Gliss Brand Ambassador and she's such a great um, artist with the fusioning. The Glitter Hutch, did I say it right? Hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you everyone. Oh my goodness, I have I missed so many comments though. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Just give a little shakes for the uh fusioning. You are very welcome, Mika. I hope I don't miss a lot of uh comment. So with the uh neon is so pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot. And also, you can add more as you prefer if you want to be darker, deeper look. So I absolutely love this. This burning heart. It's so nice and vibrant. We can do like a trendies, holidays, nails. And then we're going right in with the thinking green. And I'm gonna just like tap it right on the side. So it's recommends by Hue with these two colors. We wanna see because I'm so interested in with this. Hope everyone's uh, having a fabulous day. All right. That is set, and I'm going ahead and using Crystal Clear. Just need a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap it right in outside wipe off you see that i have a piece of 
paper towel over here so i wipe up all of the residues off for my bristle and you when you work with the fusioning is there's no right way or wrong ways for you it just really depends on how you like your marble look okay and repeat it with another like step that you are going to pick up some of crystal clear looks really cool and interesting to me what you think you know what i always thinking it though So add some illumining like light arts so there's no right way or no wrong way to do this it's so fun to do and then just make sure the important just load your bristles just a little bit of crystal clear you don't need a whole gallons of it just little little go a long way So now if you want your veining to be really precise like this and it's obvious these are veinings, you can just like tap it right from the outside toward to the center. I like that. I like a little bit of a hint of a green. I like a little bit of like um, kind of a, a neon uh burning hearts and it's also like a little pink because it's a blending from the uh, green you see a little bit green right here right there looks so cool it looks so good by itself though i don't know if i want to put crystal on it but i am going to <laughs> so um for one second Oh, this is green though are we done with that so you want to add it on so we're gonna add it on so if you are done you're happy with this you don't want anything else on it's gonna be like one of your nail arts like the ring fingers or whatever fingers that the client's going to do i'm gonna just add just a little bit of illuminating uh light art which is gel painting if you have a golden touch, is is also really gorgeous. This one is also fun as well. And then we just like give it a little bit, just wiggle a little bit. Don't have to get it like a straight line. It just make it look natural. I'm gonna load it some more. Okay. You can add more or less, it's however you would like. And then we're going to key it for 60 seconds. Hey, Dom. Thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, it's still not so pretty. <laughs> I'm so glad it's still not pretty because. Uh, he was like seem like i got enough challenge and he's giving me a challenge right here before we go live it's okay yes that's the like two colors you're gonna do it's gonna be cool i said okay <laughs> all right so i have an idea it's a two centerpiece but i will show you what centerpiece when i get one of my centerpiece mm -hmm. um, what do you put in my centerpiece at? I'm going to use these two colors. And this centerpiece is super adorable. It's so cool. Um, I know I will tell you why. Because if you remember that you see we're doing it with the um, centerpiece with no metal frame. 
And then we have to put the frame and then we have to dress it up a frame and the beats on it to create that. But now guess what is now is a viable in already in the centerpiece in the frame. So which is mean you can have so much is like dramatics is cute crystal. But you don't have to spend like maybe extra of 10 15 minutes to put the beats on. So we are going to did you put it somewhere? Oh, I really want to do this for everyone. Should we do this one then? Hmm? The design. You could. Everyone this one is so cute though. It looks nice on it. Anyone want to see this design on? Yes or no? Nice one. Maybe one nail design like this and one centerpiece. How does that the centerpiece go vanish? Did you put it somewhere? Mm -mm. Should we do it? Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, if I do this and I am going to to get my um right in front of you. Right. Look, second draw. Look down. Funny. Were you hiding from me? It's not. So let me see the nails. I can see the look. Oh, so this is gorgeous. Okay. So this nails, we're gonna need that one and the red. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I wanna do any crystal placement on this. Just one based on the No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's so gorgeous. Can you pull that one back for me? Oh, just put it that one back. There. Because look at this. Hold on. Let's turn off the lights and then see how this one. <laughs> the lamb. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my god, look at my nails. Okay, anyway, we want to do some nails though. Seriously, do we really need to do like that's why I don't have any background so you can see that crystal. So crystal well, crystal or not crystal. You know what? Put that away. You have to vote on it and we can come back to it in about a couple minutes. <laughs> now you can start the next one. <laughs> so voting will never start. It's Okay, we'll, we'll put it on the side. We're gonna do a next one. Too pretty to be crystal. So I have to wait for all of us to see what should we do. You tell me if it's no crystal, then we can do no crystal. Burning hot, burning hot. Thinking green. Hmm? Green again. And we want to do a thinking green. Well, it's going to be very shiny. Green and blue. Oh, that's a good idea, though. Yeah, and that's no. <laughs> we will do crystal later. <laughs> crystal. I'm going to use just a little bit. Because the pigment is so pigmented. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use a crystal clear. And I did the next one is a bulk dose of regular is fusioning. And what I do is just getting a little bit of the outside. And it's outside.
Yeah. Here it is. Looks cool, huh? Well, it looks whatever is it he's giving me a challenge, I'll take it. And I'm just working on and blending it out all the pigment. And you can see that I work it from the outside toward to the center. This one I can do crystal because I like it and like it lighter. So I can put the, it like have a little bit of backgrounds underneath. It looks like a water color. Because yeah, sometimes I was like doing a crystal placement, I just don't want to do so beautiful in the um, background because then you cover this. I like to cover them. Mm -hmm. Just that's it. And then let's put some liner on. I'm going to put some green on it. I'm going to put some green because. You want to try quick? See how shiny it is? I'm going to add just a little bit more. Just move it. Well, you know what is going to look good with this one? I'm thinking of weaver gel. <gasps> Let's do some weaver gel. Uh, on the top there. Yeah. Okay, I want to do we with else this one. Yeah. I want the gold one on. Give it the stir. Yeah, it's okay. I want to go. All right. So if you are wonder how I make this one, I just using like all this the toothpick, and I tape it together. It's really easy. You can tape six. I mean, two more than one. So two, three, four, five, six, and you tape it together. You can create the tool that you can do the weaver gel ends like one stroke but it has five six seven line at the same time make sure that i get the good amount So when you see the size is not, um, the line is not going together, we're well, going to wipe off the tips and pick it up. That's so beautiful. That is cool though. I like it. Now I don't know if I want to do crystal or not. Okay, so when people decide to do crystal on the first one, see so what you want to do on that while you wait for that. For real? That's so pretty. Can I just get away with no crystal? 
All right, then do crystal. I said, no, Nancy, if we do crystal, then it's like the game is over. Well, I guess restrain yourself. I'm looking at this. I'm going to do two. Either one. Which one do you want to see? This one? This one or this one? Thumbs on my ring finger. Which one do you want to see? Oh, yes, no thumb. You want to keep the background. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I can do either one. I can do the same one with my, but reverse the, the crystal. How about that? Mm -hmm. I can yeah, do the heart. Instead of the heart red, I can do the, the, um, the green. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. So here is condensed glue gel, the first step from a crystal trifecta. So if you are having a really hard time with your crystal placements and the ours is keeping like coming off and strike on you. So this is going to be your bestie and this will back you up every single time. I am going to apply this one good coat, not too thick, not too thin over the top and floating. So now if you are, I'm not sure if you are doing a matte top coat, you can do a matte finish and apply the matte on. If you already decide to do the, the uh, shiny, you can apply the shiny top coat on. So we are going ahead and using the no wipe top coat on the top. Why it looks so dark. I'm missing one light. Floating right on the top, not too much because you don't want your crystal to be slicing off. So we're going to do instead of ours regulars with the heart. We're going to do is like upside down, like the heart right there. Like that. The same, but I just reverse the colors. And here's the color kits. Can I get my color kits back? This is so cute. It's perfect for holiday. I'm using the all the bling in the worst crystal kits. And adding the SS tens of the crimsons. And then the green opal from the kit. Place them really close and tight together. I'm going to go ahead and using SS4 on this side. And now if you like the beads, you can add the beads on. If you don't want any beads on, absolutely you can get away with no beads. It still looks so gorgeous. And I just add the little arrow for the end. And add some beads between the crystals. It's so fun and so easy to do. And as long as you are place them really close and tight together, they are. How everyone doing so far? I'm 
me doing great. I'm excited. I'm so enjoying it, doing a tutorial for all of you. Okay. So now it looks like mine, yep. Mm -hmm. See? Looks better in the next. Better? Mm -hmm. well, I'm so glad because I'm taking my off now. <laughs> It's going to break Mika hard because I'm taking a favorites off. Yeah. You know what? When I, before I take my nails off, I kiss it like so many times. I say, I love you so much, but I got to go. <laughs> you got to go. You're not, I got to go. <laughs> it's just hard though. If you're asking, a lot of people will ask me like, oh, it's going to be like so hard to see the nails off. Like, yep. We're gonna have to say bye to beautiful so then create more beautiful and i hope you're enjoying it with all of the it's just like cool a challenge for myself but also it's really nice to share with you so then it gives you some inspiration so now you can go on and on about this um if you add more crystal you can you add more frame i'm gonna stop right here because at least that you can see some of the fusioning so you won't complain with me that um I cover everything. But hey, if you would like to cover everything, you do so. Do not worry about what other people are saying, you know? Like it, you have it on your nails, that's your nails, you're enjoying it. Not us, you enjoying it. And also, it was the same with your client, too. So good. It looks so gorgeous in person, though. I feel so good now because I have like have a similar nail designs I can keep because this one need to go. We'll do a new one. All right, here for 60 seconds and we'll go back with the precision glue gel to double secure all of the crystal charm and chains in there. So now let's moving on this one. Uh, crystal or no crystal? I think it looks good. We should, put, we should put some butterflies on it. I'll show them real quick how it looks under. Oh, okay. under. Under the uh, mm -hmm. last light. No. Yeah. Close this one for a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. It's a neon. I think the light's too powerful. You might want to do this one. Like that. There you go. Much better. No, because the screen, a lot of screen. Let me see. Look less powerful. Okay. Oh, it's short. They lit up. All right. So what we're doing? Dragon scale and crystal or just crystal? Ah, voting. <laughs> She's like, okay, I know what I want. Okay, dragon scale and crystal. I got an idea. So you ready? I'm so excited. Um do we do the first one? Did we have a heart on the first one? Okay, dragon scale and crystal. So we're gonna first thing first start with the uh condensed glue gels, and we're all going to follow right after with the uh no web top coat. So I'm go ahead and apply to the good amount, not too thick, not too thin. Too thick is going to flood your crystal, too thin is not going to adhere your crystal properly. Sorry, my my bracelet is keep making a noise right there. If I need some more, I'm going to add some more. I'm so obsessed with the green. Okay, flower follow right after with the just keep um, making some noise. No wipe top coat. Floating right on the top. So now there are so many different ways to apply the dragon scales. If you want to do completely dragon scale, like completely the nails with no crystal, make sure you're doing a spy in the middle first. There's so many different ways um, you can do it on the side, but then sometimes the sides make your nails look crooked. So I, I always start with this on the on the center first, the spine first, and then I going on the left and the right, depending on however designs you would like to. So I am go ahead and apply this. 
I just have really good eyes on this. Mm, that's really powerful, nice, huh? Like it? And then I'm going to start with this Dragon Scale. I am absolutely love it. Place it right in the top of the shield. Diamond shields in emerald. And then you see that I'll start with the spine first and I'm going to go into the right and go into the left. And then you might see in your dragon scales, one side is like um, halo and the other one is more like um, a texture raise up. So you're going to do that and have it on the top. So I'm going to go ahead. If you feel like it's upside down, give it a little shakes on the on the uh, tray it's gonna go and flip really nicely for you okay same thing with the other ones we're gonna continue to doing it another I'm so excited to be here with everyone. If you miss it, don't worry. You can watch my replace. Um, and then so with the replace, you can fast forward as you needed it. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot something. And just go back to the video and you can watch and fast forward it if you needed it. And then now I'm gonna do it again. And then you see that it's supposed to be, I'm gonna show you really closer. Let me finish this one and do it again. So they are supposed to be, I'm going to show you how you can look at them and it make it so easy. It's so fast. I promise. This Dragon Scout application, it's just the fastest and easiest and the simplest on earth. And it should not be, it's make it for sure. It's just so much fun to do. So when you lay them like when you are, place them like this. So it's supposed to be the straight one, two. And then this one right here on the angle, you look one, two, three. It looks like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. a yeah, a puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead. If you, you can continue to do it, whoop, hold it if you want to. I'm going to add some cuties crystal here. Right there. Some of my opal. I love the filler though. I love the SS. I'm not using the SS um, six. Six. You can do three. Sometimes I do three. Sometimes I do six. It's the, if you want to be like getting a bigger size of the crystal, you can do number six. And then end with. I'm going to add some frame on it, okay? All right. My metal frame. Am I on uh, the mm -hmm. camera? You good? Keep it Thanks so much, everyone. I don't see any comments at all. Can you read the comment for me? Oh, they're just talking how much they love dragon scale. Oh, thank you so much. I love it too. It's so easy to do. And it's so fun, fast fun. If you're doing for your client, it's so much fun to do. Clients love it. They last good up to like four to six weeks. Have the clients will last up that long. And you don't even have to coat the dragon scale. You treat it like your crystals and then you don't need to coat it on the top unless you are going to do it encapsulating it like with liquid and powder or gravity gels. But if you are doing it, treat it as a crystal placement. You do not have to, to coat it at all. Just keep it's my beads on my bracelet. It's keeping the, the tree. And then we can add some 
It's on. And continue if you want to. Oh, nice. You know what? Just keep in mind, you can definitely get away with no beats at all. I like it either way. So you never go wrong with this design. And I'm adding in between the frame and the crystals. I can go on and on and on about this. I'm not going to stop, but we're going to leave some room for the fissioning and weaver gels or else we'll like take over. So you can definitely doing a really cool, beautiful nails in the same theme of the holidays. And you can swap with different colors of Dragon Scout and then color of the filters will give it different looks for upcoming holidays. For instance, you can do similar like this and then changing your crystal to be pink or red and then can be pink and red to be is upcoming Valentine or New Year's. So you'll be doing a silver, a white, white and silver. Or white and blue for the New Year's, like a winter. Anika, thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Then probably I have no idea. Okay, so. Let's go. So. Yeah, I don't know. How, did you get a new notification from us at all? I think some do, but yeah. Did you have a notification, Nika? It looks like uh, on our feed it doesn't show as uh, notifications for when we go live. You got them? For real? Mm -hmm. So I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't refresh it. Or maybe the, or maybe network. So I'm gonna go in. Go ahead and doing it. Thank you, Mika. Are you go shopping again? It's the best thing. Shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sealing all of the beads in the frame and make sure you are going to do a little checking, checking, do a little exam right here. I love the best thing about this. And no nails not looks only looks so gorgeous. Also, it's secure. A lot of you was really afraid of. I used to afraid of the clients, like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It looks really nice on a picture, but they start to go home and they're washing their hand, their hair. I mean, um, like you're going shower and you had a little um shower puff. What is that? The shower puff, whatever you're using it. I have one and mine's purple and it was stuck in the nail. If you don't have pre-season glue gels and it's going to start stucking on the nails and it will rip your crystal off. If the first time it didn't do it successful, the second time it's probably going to rip it like really bad. So the clients were like, oh, I love it. It looks so gorgeous. It looks nice on the pictures, but it keeps catching on my clothes. I just got a new, very new scarf and it's pulling everything off of my scarf. I'm not happy at all. This... Will make your clients smile and it'll make you feel so good and confidence that you know they can wear with the confidence so i'm gonna go ahead and care for 60 seconds there's no more no more pains no more like worry about like getting you can promoting you can share with your clients if you are doing for yourself for audio wires uh, congratulations this is going to be your bestie with every single uh, crystal placement you are doing and for a lot of you are create a lot of um press on set for your size your business and also is a part of your business as well this will be the bomb because you do not have to worry about um them are catching of on the clients when they're putting the press on nails on so i am a go ahead and using my twin tip brush and the twin tip brush had dual ends so one ends with the light brush i am going to show you some cool tip and trick i'm go ahead and using the light brush and blend this beauty which is a precision glue gel that i just did it had no uh tacky layer so then it after you kiss there's no worry about it's gonna getting like really tacky layer at all so i'm gonna give it a little bit quick blend so then that way after you key it doesn't look lumpy on the side it looks nice and flawless as possible 
and then we are going to cure for 60 seconds. And also, if you are needing more than just one um, time of your curing, you can, I mean, one time of sealing, you can go ahead and seal, but do not seal on the top of the crystal. You can see how cool the crystal is sparkle and the cut is. If we put it all over, your crystal going to be like, becomes a glove crystal. Or it wasn't gloves crystal. Gloves crystal have a special design with this one that you're coating it on. So I'm go ahead and close the red cap. Don't lose it because it's going to protect your investment and it will last for a long time. It's one time long, long, long time ago. So my friends will like lay this here and it spills everywhere the, because the cap is not locked in. I guess you can show it's my nails else. really quick. Last. So you had the last look on her 16 nail set. She called this one mistletoe. The 16 set of her 30 days challenge. So we're halfway there already. That's your last look before she took them off and do a new one. We'll pass the half of what you want to see the next one. I'm going to take it off and I'll put the matte top coat on. Is the 17 look. All right. The matte top coat. Mm -hmm. So let's give them Which one is your favorite? My favorite. Is, I don't know. My favorite is this one. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's do category. Like favorites for the crystal or then this one. I don't know. It's hard to pick. I have a hard time to pick which one. Okay. Well, uh, let's show them the nails from today. And look very pretty. It's so pretty. And let's do this because we Turn do have neon. Oh my goodness. Turn off that because the lighting on, the lighting is on. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? If you're adding your crystal glow in the dark, it will, it will be off. so the bomb. Oh, maybe we, today we should do a glow in the dark crystal. <gasps> yeah. I should do glow the dark crystal set today for myself. You should. Yes. On this one. But I love this one so much. Bye. Are you yeah. ready to say goodbye? I know. I'm going to give a lot of kisses on this before I'm going to say goodbye. The sky blue is your favorite. Oh my God, Jan, you like the sky blue? Hold on. So sky blue is, oh, the one is just recently. Yeah, you still have pictures of it. No ah, oh my God, I have a hard time to pick which one. Maybe we should do some a cool of a giveaway for the naming the set. <laughs> That's be cool. Here's a look. I'm going to have to say bye to this one. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I really, really enjoying the tutorials. And thank you so much for joining me, sticking with me. Um, can you move this one? Okay. I know it's close that I can get. But we're missing this nail, though. Yeah, so much Q vessel, did I say it right? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And I have a Jen. I have a hard time to pick which one is my favorite. Every time I say, "Oh, I like this set a lot," and then our next set we had, I had it, and I said, "Oh my god, I also like it a lot." Um, if you have any questions, like on any other question, anything, anything, um. Just even any question is nothing. No question is a silly question. Just ask me. Like say uh, anything. I don't know. I was thinking. Of, what we try to tag the colors or the products that we're using. But it said like, how long did I take you to thinking of this idea? Because yesterday I have an idea of like completely. It's one ideas of the one colors, and I totally doing a difference. And you know, it's just like it's really cool. It's a great experience. So here is a little. So if you have any questions, uh, yes, every new set is better than the last. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Jen. It's mean the world to me. And thanks so much for like tuning in, for supporting, and comments, likes, love, a lot of support. Um, I really, really enjoying it. Be honors and such a great is. 
really fun and easy challenge, but also it'll take a lot of like, um, how do I say, a lot of uh, cool ideas. Dedication is more important thing that I see is out from the past halfway. It is a challenge for myself is I learned so much. And thanks so much for sharing all of the, um, you know, is uh, comments with me and likes with me. Hope it's bring you some inspiration. I know I like this one a lot. See, why am I thinking of a dragon scale with this? I would have done it. But this is so cute. I got it from the newest one right there. Looks so good in person. It's so gorgeous in person. And it has a variety of different shapes. So you have limitless of what you are going to create. This one looks like a Sailor Moon. like cinema all right i don't want to leave everyone i don't want to say bye but i am going to say bye to you and i really appreciate you tuning in have a fabulous wednesday and if you have any question regarding to the products i'm used from glitter sets to in such please feel free to dm us our team will be so happy to assist you and please um if you have any further question for shipping for order, please feel free to email us at info at glitzassessmentsuch.com. And you can also chat with us right on the website as well as your preference. Uh, if you have any questions right then. So I'm looking forward to see everyone in the next live video. Thank you so much, everyone. And have a, a fabulous Wednesday. Please take good care of yourself. Be safe and happy holidays. We'll see you in the next live. Bye.